What's up, everybody? Man, you guys are quick to the punch, huh? You guys doing okay? Oh, let me turn the loop off. Hello from London. Fantastic to have you from London. I'll raise my cup. Uh, BB King, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. My God, you're all here. You're all fast. Jeez Louise. Okay, listen. Uh, all of you listening, <laughs> unlucky Brett. No, yeah, Brett had a legit cancellation, and um, I want to talk to you. I'm going to leave this up, okay? And um, <laughs> it is... It, 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 I, oh, yeah, you're a Passover state in Naples. I'm sorry. He had to, he had to cancel for Passover. So he, here's the deal. Um, I'm going to talk a little. So I, I'm going to leave this video up forever, and I'm going to probably retitle it to being in-depth in the BB box. I don't have a lot of time, so this is going to be your... Um, your I'm kind of going to be ignoring a lot of your, your questions. Uh, hey, Don. All right, so here here's... Uh, I'll see you at Dead and Companies. Ah, I'm reading the questions. Here we go. So my student, Brett, asked me about the BB box. I'm going to let you know, uh, I think real men or real humans have to admit when they make a mistake. And, and I had made a mistake in my guitar playing and understanding and somewhat teaching. Not that's going to affect you too much. But a long time ago, a long time ago, YouTube taught me something called a BB box. And I'm going to show you this. Mm. And I will point the fingers on YouTube and the swill that is there. And they showed me that if we're in the key of A, right, we're playing it in the A blues, that the BB box was this little portion of a form two. Right here. And for years, for years, without even batting an eye, that was my BB box. And then a lot of people started talking about BB box, and Brett bought, brought up the BB box. And Brett said, well, you know, I'm going to play my BB box here. And I went, what the heck is that? It's not a BB box. And this is like a last week or two weeks ago. And he's like, no, it was. Right, that's it. I was taught the Albert King box as the BB box. This box here, the Form 2, is the Albert King box. And I was wrong. And now, I, now I'm, I'm saying, hey, man, he showed me this BB box. So I, I Googled it and I got into this rabbit hole of BB box versus the, uh, versus, yeah, thank you, Brett. Brett is the man. Um, BB box versus the Albert King box. And I was intrigued by, um, what does BB mean? Like BB King, yes, okay. And it's a BB King's box. And this is the box he played. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know this, but I'm going to throw my hat into the ring and show you what I discovered. So again, I hope that you really enjoy this. I'm going to do a lot of talking as if it's a recorded lesson. And this is my recorded lesson for the BB box, okay? Uh, so here we go. So the BB box in A, first of all, and you all know this, is going to be in that third position pentatonic. If we use Never Lost. And we're right here. And we stop. There is, hello, Knoxville. There's the start of our BB box. Now, right really quickly, we're talking about the intervals involved. And I hope that all of you are watching either can grab a guitar or find comfort in the fact that you can have this to watch, okay, later. So you have your one. And then we have this interval here, the two. I want to explain this to you, is that the two is not special to the major or minor, okay? It's, the, it's just the number two, okay? And then we have a three, a flat three, which is inner pentatonic, fantastic. We have the four, we have the flat five. And we have the five. So all is good so far. We have this minor type thing. But then we have this, the six. Now, there's not the problem, but what's cool about the six is that the six is a major note. It belongs to the major pentatonic. And what's really nice about this is that you can get that major sort of feel when you need it by touching the six. So now we're going to go into detail. Um, does Sean know you're doing this without him? He, he will. He will. He's a... Is that okay? <laughs> so here we go. So now, um, if you listen, I'm going to play, here's an A blues backing track. I'm just going to play a little bit of my BB box just so you can see, of course, how it goes along. I'm just going to be making stuff up. Here we go. Okay, so now, let's talk about what just happened and the real use of this BB box, okay? So now, I'm going to show you this. The one, the two. What is this two? Well, I know you can't rewind, but you will be able to rewind this in, in the uh, playback, Michael, so don't worry. By the way, everybody give a shout-out to Mike Shaw today, that guy right there. Um, he plays the flute, and uh, he's learning from this uh, guitar, like these guitar lessons, and he's doing awesome. And I can't be prouder of a guy who's taking guitar lessons and translating it onto flute. That is amazing. <laughs> so good job, Mike. Anyway, so here's the one. Here's the two. Let's talk about this two right here. The t it's very rare that you see a BB box being played where the two is being played by itself. What I find a lot of in blues playing, especially in BB King, is that he's going to take this two and actually bend it up to the flat three. Take this two 
and bend up the flat three. So what this two is doing here is it's BB's way of sounding bluesy and touching the minor third of the scale, but using the second to get through it. Okay, now what do we do with the minor third? Well, we can play the minor third, or I'm sure most of you have played or seen my blues trick number one video, right? The major third is in the chord being played, so we can take a minor third and bend it up to the major third. So watch how now I'm gonna play the one, I'm gonna take the two, bend it up to the minor third, and then I'm gonna take the minor third and bend it up to the major third. Now watch for these sounds. Okay, so pretty blatant that you can start hearing that BB King sound. We're not walking through the scale, we're not doing this. We're taking these notes and making them bendable intervals. The two into the flat three, the three into the into the major third. Sorry, the flat three into the major third. The four, the flat five, and the five really are technically there for what we usually practice. The five has a lot of tension to come back home. You can bend the five up to the six. Ooh. But let's talk about that six. The six is such a great way or such a great note to tag on the way home to the one. Having that little tiny like tip of the hat to you, you know, when you play a blues line and ending it a little, with a little bit of a major spice is BB King's signature sound. So now I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing all those things, the one, the two bend, the three bend, the four, the flat five, the five, bending up to the six, hitting the six on the way home. Notice I'm not teaching you licks, I'm teaching you the concept of how to work a BB box. And um, there have been no comments showing up here and I appreciate that, but now it's time for comments, let me know, is this sounding good, is it sounding okay? So I'll play and I'm gonna watch and make sure that this is sounding logical. Here we go. Okay, now, awesome, thank you. All right, so now, so, does that box change places along the front? Or we gotta get there, Mr. Uh, Miss, Mr. Uh, Mr. Andre? Uh, Andre, yes, okay, now here's the deal. So, before we get that, the question was, does this move? And of course it can move, everything on the guitar can move, but before we do that, here is the biggest, like, stay tuned for the next big thing after this commercial, but there's no commercial. All right, check this out, guys. Um, all right, we're playing in a blues in A. The one chord is the, uh, is the A7. One chord's eight. What's the four chord? I'm gonna sit here and wait. For people who watch on the replay, they'll be like, come on. But what's the four chord in an A blues? I'm gonna sit my coffee. D. Good, awesome. D7, actually D7, D7. D7, okay, you guys got a D7. Fantastic. Now, check this out. I wanna show you this. Now pay attention, we're nice and close. Here's my A7, yes? You can play an A7 like this, or an A7 like this. Now watch. Here's my D7. I can play D7 like this, or like this. Now what's special about me showing you this? Well, the BB box here, the six, the one, the, f uh, the four of the chord, and this flat three are actually notes of your D7. They are notes of the four chord. This BB box is set up to give you a nice major type sound on top of the four. And it involves this note here, this, this, and here. Oh my God, right? So when you're on the four chord, this BB box shines and you get that signature BB King sound. Now, I'm gonna show you some things. Again, this note, this note, this note. Okay, they're in the BB box. But again, you can take this minor sec, this, this second, excuse me, and bend up to, that, to this note. So on the four, you really wanna hit this note here what we call the sixth of the box, but really it's, the, it's now the major third, the four chord. There's no better note to come in on, just trust me. And then, and really utilize these notes, and this is what it sounds like. One. Here's the four. Back to the one. Five. Oh, 
we're still there. I just got a no connection. This would be terrible if I lost this. Let's just see. Uh, all right, so now, um, I hope that this all makes sense, all right? Goosebumps, fantastic. I, my, there might have been a small glitch. I apologize. I don't know. It's still here. Good. All right, so here's the thing, and I, and I bet you can move everything two frets down for the five chord. Oh, look at this guy. Yes. Now, what's really cool about this BB box is that it's so versatile. It is unbelievably versatile, and I haven't seen a lesson on YouTube that discusses this, so I'm, again, throwing my hat in the ring. I hope you guys like it. So you can stay put and use the intervals. Um, I, I, on, uh, just, I can't really get to the questions because I really don't have a lot of time, and I apologize. So now, you can do that, and now A, okay? So now we need a D. Well, we can take up to D here on the four. Now, the same premise applies now when you're just using it as a BB box. But if you move it to the four, we don't get the same intervals, but we do get a bluesy sound. And the five, we can bring it up to the E. I can play the D here in the third fret for the four. And the five. So I can play one, four, five. I can play one, four, five. Or I can play one, four, five. So give me, give me a couple seconds to experiment. Here it is. I'm gonna stay put for the first round. Then I'm going to move, and you guys tell me the opinions of uh, which one sounds better. One, I missed it. <laughs> Five. I totally missed that. Again, here we go. One. <laughs> my BB box lesson. I studied that. Um, staying put sounds more like BB. Right, staying put sounds more like BB. BB stayed put. I'm glad you made that observation. Um, oh, Maui. Hey, John. Yeah, John's in Maui. I I'll see John tomorrow. John's my student, and the people on the playback are not going to see the comments, but John is one of my FaceTime students, and he's on vacation in Maui, and he's so addicted to his uh, Stitch Method guitar lessons that he's taking a, a lesson on vacation. That's what I'll say. All right, so um, yes, it sounds more like BB King when we stay put, but we can move it. You can move it and you can get some, some uh, blue stuff, uh, some different blue sounds. So it's your job to experiment with it. It's your job to utilize it. It's your job to understand those intervals. Watch this video again, all right? Understand that every number uh, in music has a, 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 a um, uh, what was I trying to say, a, a job to do? I think is what I'm saying. We'd love to talk with you about lessons. So yeah, email me at stitchmethod uh, at gmail.com. I'm really booked. It's crazy, but I, I'll see what we can do. 2 a.m. in Norway. Go to bed, bro. Anyway, so here are the recaps. BB box, you have a one. You have a two, you can bend it up to the minor third. You have a three, you can bend that up to the major third. The four, the flat five, and the five, pretty standard stuff. Use the five to build some tension. Bend the five up into that major sixth. And then, um, nice, I'm glad you like the... <laughs> I'm getting so distracted. Well, stop, stop, stop. You can bend the five up to the six, and you can use the six to tag home. When they change the four chord, bam, the magic happens. That BB box turns into the ultimate soloing machine, machine on top of the four. It has pretty much 90% of the notes in it. And that is pretty much it. I really enjoyed having you guys here. I do have a lesson starting. What time is it? I have no idea what time it is. I do have a lesson starting uh, quite soon. Um, do you play acoustic blues as well? Yeah, I mean, I do, but I have my acoustic guitar right there. But uh, I, um, yeah, Jerry, Jerry lives on. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, the acoustic blues really, I mean, okay, here's the deal. The question is, do I play the acoustic blues? I don't play a lot of guitar anymore, unfortunately. I teach a lot, and I. it sounds weird, but when you're teaching guitar, you don't get a lot of time to play the stuff you want to play. So hopefully, um, oh, I'm, I'm glad to hear that, uh, Ryan. Um, uh, I am trying to find time so I can play more stuff. I can play acoustic blues and 
and jazz and, and even my the Grateful Dead songs I love to play and the Fish songs I love to play and, and more blues and figuring more and more in this guitar out. I just want you to know, you know, um, I have uh, I have this stuff figured out. So if I get a guitar lesson with you, how much would it cost? Um, you can email me. We'll talk about cost. Um, and uh, take on your stride. Okay, I, I try. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Listen, all of you, thank you for being here. Really, like, thank you so much for being here. This lesson will stay up. I'm sorry if you're watching the replay and I got distracted by the comments because uh, these guys are live and they're here with me, so I have to address them. Um, thank you. Uh, oh, fish food. The answer with the here, I'll answer with this is what is the better, Cherry Garcia ice cream or fish food with Ben and Jerry's? And the answer is fish food without a doubt. You guys have a great night. Thank you again so much. Leave your comments below. I hope that opened up your mind about the BB Box. And one more thing right now, all of you guys in the comments, thank Brett. Brett canceled and I told him I would do this lesson in honor of his place. And he is the reason that I presented this. Have a great night, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.